Rock. Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? It's DJ Spade Rock, and this is DJ Spade Rock in yo grill. What up, everybody? Hope y'all like my uh, first one that I did yesterday about the Jay-Z and Offset thing. You know what I mean? So, appreciate all the likes, even the dislikes. That means somebody's watching. I likes that. I likes that. I want y'all to check out the DJ Spade Rock Show on YouTube. Check out my channel. Subscribe. Hit that like button if you like it. You know what I mean? Check us out. We got the podcast. Episode 66. Check out all the previous episodes, man. But anyway, we back on my man Jay-Z today. He has been labeled as the first hip-hop artist to hit the billionaire mark. Yeah, yes, yes. Jigga Man has done it. He has hit the $1 billion mark. And that is awesome. My man Jigga, my man Hova, Hova. But I had to talk about that because uh, that's a landmark right there. You know what I'm saying? I know we out here hustling trying to get that paper. But Jigga Man has did it, made it to the billionaire, billionaire's club, basically. We thought uh, Dr. Dre was going to do it with the whole Beats thing, but... Uh, I think he worth like uh, uh, like 740 mil, but Jay Z done hit that billionaire mark because you know he's got a lot of ventures, a lot of investments out there. You know he's got the sports thing, the Rock Nation, this and that, all this stuff. Man, I can't even tell you how much money he's got invested into these different companies and how many different companies he has. But you could do that research for yourself. All you gotta do is Google it. But my man Jigga Jigga Jigga, what up? What up? What up? What up, Beyonce? But yeah, I just thought I'd touch on that today. But uh, my man Diddy is right behind him for like, I think 800 and some odd million. You know what I'm saying? Diddy is, he's catching up to him. Really, he's catching up. So I, I say probably the next year or so, Diddy probably gonna hit that, if not quicker. You know what I'm saying? These boys out here making these mills, man. There's plenty of money to be made. I'm right behind you, I'm right behind you. I got a long ways to catch up, but don't worry about it. I'm gonna be there soon. You know what I'm saying? Got to get it, baby, got to get it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, I'm out here getting my grind on, man. Doing what I do. Like I say, big shout out to my man Reckless, my number one supporter. Y'all definitely check for him on all social media and check out his song In Here featuring V Skinny on all platforms to buy music at. Y'all definitely check for him. And check out the Spade Rock Show on this particular channel here. Hit that like and subscribe. And I'll probably be back today with another news, info, whatever you want to call it, vlog, whatever. Yo, I'm just doing some things and hopefully y'all support me. Just give me y'all some news that I hear. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might want to check it out on different platforms. So I might be a go-to guy. But y'all want to ask y'all a question. What would you do if you found a lot of money? I say, hundreds of thousands to millions in a suitcase now I know it probably have to be a lot of hundreds but like I say a nice size suitcase you found a million or so dollars like in a back alley or some shit <clears throat> what would you do would you turn it in to the police to the authorities or would you keep that money and spend it on yourself or your kids or your family but I want to know how would you do it you know what I'm saying that's what I'm looking at like if you found the money and you did keep it how would you go about spending spending it would you wait a while and then kind of just gradually do some things because you can't just put it in the bank like that it don't work like that you know what I'm saying there's it's some things you got to do to really you know the bank only insures up to a certain amount far as I know you know but I'm not no expert you can google it yourself but I'm just asking you what would you do if you found some money a lot of money in a suitcase or a trash bag or something like that you know what I'm saying just wondering you know because we're talking about guys like Jigga and Diddy and Dre and Warren Buffett and, you know uh 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 you know, a lot of these cats that's, that's, that's super paid, man. You know what I'm saying? The guy that owns Virgin. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that's Buffett, ain't it? I get them confused sometimes. Too many of them. But anyway. But yeah, what would you do if you found some money? A lot of it. Somewhere in an undisclosed 
undisclosed location. What would you do? Would you turn it into the authorities or would you keep that money and, and get your groove on? What would you do? All right, y'all hit me up. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like button, man. Leave some comments below. What would you do? All right. I'll let y'all later. DJ Spade Rock in your grill. So just hit me up. If you want to hit me up on the email, fjohnson509 at gmail. fjohnson509 at gmail. Hit that like and subscribe and also comment. I'm going to leave my comments open. I don't care if you say bad stuff. That's fine with me. That means you're watching. All right. But, yo, we're going to hit y'all back up later. We keep y'all posting on what's going on with Jigga Man. But we got to go to somebody else. I just want to touch on Jigga Man. Hey, yo, I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.